Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a speech about the American decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The 1973 decision by the Supreme Court that effectively allows all women access to abortion on demand in any state. Now, I want to start off by making clear exactly what this decision in 1973, Roe v. Wade, changed in America. First of all, what it had changed is that rather than abortion being a state-driven decision, it is now a federal decision. In other words, all states now have to give option of abortion through the first trimester. That's, so in the first trimester of pregnancy, every single state is now mandated by federal law that they have to allow women to have abortion on demand at any time for any reason. Now what's happening at the moment in America, which you may have read on the news, and it's a very controversial thing, is that they're now arguing that they should overturn Roe versus Wade. Now I want to make it clear, there is no scientific and no philosophical rational that you can bring to defend the position of abortion. And the reason why is simple. We know from a scientific point of view that all human life from the point of conception in the earliest form as a zygote is the earliest stage of a human life. Everything from that point through DNA is determined for that child's development. Whether they become born, whether they grow up to be a toddler, a teenager, an adult, an elderly man or woman, everything is determined from that point. So when you end the life of a child as a fetus in the womb at any stage, you are killing an unborn child. I want to make that absolutely clear. Now what the world is doing at the moment, in the West in particular, is it's trying to rationalize why we can abort children in the womb. And they come up with bizarre reasonings to justify such positions. They say things like, well, the child itself has not developed a heartbeat. It has not developed a brain. So it has no consciousness. And because it has no consciousness, it is therefore warranted to end the life of a child if the mother decides. I'm saying to you that this is fallacious thinking. And we know why. Because you can apply that same criteria to any person outside of the womb once they've developed as an adult and you can apply it equally to them. Case in point, there are people here who have lost consciousness. They're in hospital. They aren't actively awake. They aren't actively having brainwaves and thoughts. And yet we don't argue that we have the right to end their lives. There are people who have damaged hearts, who have pacemakers, who don't have fully developed hearts. They are in some way damaged. I've spoken to elderly people who have pacemakers now. And I don't think they're any less of a person because of it. They are fully persons worthy of personhood. We don't describe personhood to people based on their functionality, based on their capability. No. We give personhood to all human beings, regardless of where they are in their life. Each and every one of us at some point would have been a human being as an embryo inside of our mother's wombs. Not a single one of us would not have been in that state. And we are all here because our mothers did not decide to abort us. Now I'm making it clear. There is an argument that you could say, well, if a woman is raped, or if a woman is in a threatening condition because of the child. What about abortion? Wait, Usman. You can make an argument for abortion then. But in this current time, abortion is being advocated as a form of contraception. Women are being encouraged to have control over the life of their own child and choosing to terminate their child at the earliest stages of its own life. Is abortion haram? I'm not, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in this. Listen, 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 listen. Let me make it clear, let me make it clear. Let me make it clear, yes ma'am. Let me make it clear. There is no viable reason to end the life of the most innocent and the weakest of society. The most innocent are those who have not yet been born. The weakest are those who are completely dependent on their mother. We know clearly, scientifically, philosophically, there is no argument, there is no defense. Abortion is the killing of an unborn person. I call all of you, regardless of your faith, whether you're like this man, you're a Muslim, whether you're a Christian, whether you're an agnostic, whether you're an atheist, we all need to call on this and to say no, abortion on demand is the killing of a child.
Even the Muslims will agree on this. So will the Jews. And there are many atheists and agnostics who will also have this view. Because they see how clearly immoral it is to end the life of an unborn child. In, this is something that I am praying for, that the Supreme Court of America overturns Roe v. Wade. Here's a little history for you. Roe v. Wade. Roe was the woman, listen, listen, listen. Roe was the woman of whom had two children. She had two children of her own and she got pregnant again. But she didn't want that third child. She wanted to abort that third child and to end the child's life. So she went to the district court in Dallas, Texas, and she argued with the person there whose last name was Wade, and hence why we get the name Roe versus Wade. She was successful. She was successful. Listen, she was successful. So the Texas state then went straight to the Supreme Court to overturn the decision. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. I'm giving a speech. I'm giving a speech. I'm giving a speech. Notice the heckling. This man probably agrees with me, and yet he wants to change the topic. I am happy to debate with you after this, but give me the decency of finishing what I have to say. No, listen, listen. I speak. No, no, no. I heckle you because you talk about my faith. I'm not talking about your faith. No, yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. You come get me afterwards. I'm happy to debate with you. Listen, there are many forms of contraception now. Through science, we have many different decisions that we can make to have autonomy over our own bodies. And yet all I'm advocating for is the refusal of one of them, and one alone. And that one is abortion. Abortion ends a child at the earliest stages of development. We know this scientifically and philosophically. I challenge anyone to give me any argument as to why that unborn is not a human life that has personhood the same way that we all have personhood. Good question. I'm against abortion. How can, how can we know something philosophically? Philosophically? Wait, let's, let me explain. Okay, let, let me explain. He said, this gentleman asked a question. He said, how can we know it philosophically? When I use the term philosophically, I'm saying without reason. We can reason about such things. Listen, we all agree here that slavery was wrong. And the reason why is because certain people of a certain skin color were denied personhood based on that skin color. They were human beings just like us. But we made a separate category and we said, no, 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 they're human beings, but they're not persons, so we won't treat them as such. I'm telling you now, the last fragment in the West that still holds to that same reasoning, that same philosophy, is abortion. We need to be consistent, we need to be universal in our reasoning, and stand up and say, wait, and stand up and say, no, abortion is wrong. We will not abort children in their earlier stages. We have. Go on, ask me a question. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. How many? How many women? So, sure. Have you been to? Okay. Have you been to a modern rally where women, in particular, advocate for the rights of abortion? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? From Poland. Okay. Fine. Fine. I know a lot of women yeah. fighting for abortion, yeah. but none of them considers abortion as right. a form of contraception. And that's how it started in America. That is a very, very... Let, no, no, let me explain. Stretch. In America, back in Bill Clinton's time, there was a phrase, and Bill Clinton repeated it. He said abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. That's what they used to say. You know what the modern abortion movement now says? It says safe and legal. No, they dropped the rare because they're now advocating that there should be positivity in abortion. You should be proud of abortions according to the modern left. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, Lena, Lena Dunham, Hillary Clinton. No, I don't know what that's got to do with anything. I'm talking about abortion. There are tons of ways to avoid abortions. Number one, use a condom. Number two, you could go through an entire plethora of reasons that you can have control over your own body. And yet you want one more reason that is the killing of a child. Sorry, say that again. Right, and that's good, right? Yeah. Men should also be responsible. Absolutely agree. This is a call for men to be responsible for their own actions and not to get women pregnant outside of marriage. As a Christian, I fully affirm that.
I will fully stand for that. I, I can see the difference between I think me and you is I can concede ground. You, we could talk about cases of rape and incest. We could talk about the danger of the mother. And I can concede and say, maybe there's a case for that. But I don't think the modern left has any intention of conceding anything. The modern left today in the Western world is advocating for abortion on demand up until the point of birth. You understand what that means? They are literally saying that moments before a woman gives birth and the child goes through the birth canal, a woman can still change her mind and say, no, I don't want the baby, kill the baby. And that is already the case in progressive states in America. That is where the left is taking you. I want to make that absolutely clear. The moderates are now in the center and the right. The left has gone wacky. Completely insane. Do you have a question? Yeah. Yeah. The honorable thing, and this is for millenniums past, is that the woman has the child if she doesn't want the child to give it for adoption. There are many Christian churches and charities that give money to orphanages that specialize in taking unwanted babies from mothers. And I fully support that. If you said to me, I'm going to raise your taxes so that you have to contribute to helping women with unwanted children so they get adopted into loving families, I'll say amen. And yet the left won't accept that. The left says, no, no, no. There has to be a, uh, abortion up until the age, uh, up until right before birth. Well, you know, that is asinine. It is extremist and insane that the left has that position. No, sorry, it should reject it. But uh, for me, also, as an extremist, I'm just saying that a woman has to give birth to a child, let's say, to a sick child or whatever, and then give it away. Okay, okay. It's also, you're, treat, you're treating very lightly. Like, it's like giving away whatever. It's giving away a bit Absolutely. It's a very big decision. Made, very big say, decision. Yes. What, 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 if a woman doesn't want it and isn't prepared to look after it, what other choice do you have? Your, yours is you should kill it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't kill them right before birth. That is extreme. But yeah. You said yeah. That any, yeah. at any point yeah. that this life, yeah. you said it is, it is a life for a saving. And it's a yeah. Absolutely. At all points. So you, you are, I think, as you, for definition, being extreme on the other side. Aren't you? I believe that just in the case of slavery, where we de uh, dehumanized people because of their skin color, we're dehumanizing people because of their age. The let's talk philosophy, man. You that is philosophy. That's, I'm making a comparison between an argument. OK, OK, let's talk philosophy. Wait, wait, let, let me just make this point. Go on, very quickly. In Poland right now, women are dying. Right. They are denied abortion in a state of right. illness of right. a woman. OK. Their cases already yep. women, young women dying. Very often, you know what, they're very often mothers or yep. children. Die, yeah. Kids yeah. Alone okay. This is a huge okay. Just absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Can I do a little magic trick here? If I conceded, if I conceded, and I agreed with you, and I said abortion should be for those uh, mothers who may be hurt or damaged by the child, would you then say that you agree with me and condemn abortion on demand? There you are, ladies and gentlemen. I conceded. I conceded, and yet she didn't. I asked you, and you said no. Go on. Why? Or not, has said, like, as human yeah. So we cannot say who's more important who's not. Yeah. And I agree with this. Okay. And that says we can but say, you can still kill them. That's, well, I believe that abortion should be available for demand. But available for demand. For any reason. No, yeah, but it's for any reason. Where we should put our power in is to educate people into, into what? About contraception. Because I, I'd about educate them on what personhood is. How much, what is the percentage of men of situations when Where men leave, Palestine, leave Palestine. women when the kid is uh, with severe uh, disability, 82% of men believe that kind of families, women stays below. Absolutely. And I can join you in that. I can join you in that. And absolutely. I can agree with you. The problem is, though, is you just said to me that even if I, I uh, agreed with you and said, OK, abortion for the women who are in danger, you said, no, I'm still going to advocate for abortion on demand. That is a radicalness of the left. It's a because radicalness. What about the young women in the womb of the mother? No, there are many women who openly see abortion as a form of contraception. But wait, 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 wait. Is, is there not celebrities now who are advocating and celebrating abortions in the West? They are. 
There are, there are women that are saying that you should celebrate your abortion. Well, yeah, there will always be people going to say. What, well, like, like, like mainstream celebrities? Okay, I would not do that. I would not. Do well, good. Perhaps, perhaps you have a, a bit more decency than them. No, okay. Well, but the fact you're still advocating for abortion on demand tells me that you're not being sincere in considering the value of the life of the child. We're considering that people have to go through the thing for all kinds of reasons. Mm. If you say that all humans matter. The yes. We're going through it. Matters as well. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Then let's compromise. All right. Let's compromise. I'll pay. I'll pay a ton more tax to helping those women, in condition that you don't agree with abortion on demand. You still won't. What do you mean? It's not the point. You, you're, you're, giving, you're saying, look, what about helping women? I say, I will. I'll give money. You're the one going religious about it. You're the one who says. I know. I'm going to mention religion. You are. You're saying it is like you're saying that it has all these things. The fetus has all these things from the military. Scientifically, yeah. Say that, man. You know, it's like, science. Every ask a doctor, ask an abortionist doctor, and they will agree with what I'm saying. What? Are you a vegetarian? No. Vegan? No. Okay. What's that, what's that so, got to do anything? I, I was, well, it has a lot to do with everything because some science. A child is equal to an animal. Science, well, if you want to talk about science, if you want to talk about pain, like the whole thing should be open, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it be open, huh? Shouldn't For debate. Should, yes. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. But I, I, I am. I'm just saying, if you want to have debate. Mm. Open it up, man. Because you're, you're Absolutely. Why? I'm totally for a debate, a discussion. But the left is not. I want to make that clear. The left wants to demonize people who are against abortion. They say they're anti women, the anti women's rights. Agreed, agreed. Right. We can, we can meet in the middle, and that's what I'm offering you to do. But you have to give your position up of abortion on demand at any point. Right. You, but, but, but well, that's, you that. understand the argument, though, yes? Yeah, argument, right. But, but I, don't, I don't have to do that. But I understand yeah, I'm not, not forcing you to. <laughs> but I'm telling you that, logically, there is no good argument for allowing such a thing. Would you kill a baby that's just been born? No. Would you kill a baby that 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago is back in the mother's womb? See, you're pro-life. It just depends on, on when. No, no, it can't. I am a Christian, yes, but I think this is, there are many atheists who agree with the pro-life position. I think a lot of Christians would also say, absolutely, in the case of rape, a woman has to give birth to this Yes, there are, there are. There are, there are in, the case, in the case of rape and incest, that's a question. But that's like 0.1% of all abortions. No, no, that's actually, that's not such a small case. It is, it's massive, it's less than 1%. Okay. Unless you want to tell me that one in a hundred women are raped whenever they have abortion. That's not true. Most women who get abortions could have kept the baby. And that is the danger of allowing abortion on demand. There is no reason or science behind it and it ultimately leads to infanticide. What I mean by that is simple. When a baby is born, if you believe that life starts at consciousness, that baby is going to be conscious for another few years, arguably, according to science. So why not kill the baby after birth? This is the extreme of the abortion position. The only viable position is the pro-life position. And we can debate on the nuance of that. And we can debate on, well, let's make exceptions for women who have been raped. Let's make exceptions for women whose lives are in danger. But that's not the conversation the left is wanting to have. That's not the modern conversation. Do you have a question? Yeah. You speak a bit louder. Yep. 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 Yeah, it's, it's a horrible start to a life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can answer I mean, like, single by like stuff like that. Yeah. Well, assuming he doesn't get adopted, but yeah. Yeah. Killing them. Yeah. So kill them. Yeah, I see. Well, at least you're honest and you say, I guess, yeah. But, mm. Well, no, 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 that is the correct term. No, no, to kill, it is the killing. It is, scientifically it is, without question. 
Right. Right. No, no, according to modern science, consciousness doesn't develop until you're like one or two years old. Okay, there you go. So, like in so can you kill babies that don't have that, that are under that age? Ah, exactly, exactly. Right. Sure. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. In Iceland, at the moment, because of abortion on demand, about 98% of all children that are diagnosed with... Oh, I forgot the name of it now. Some form of... Um, I forgot the name of the illness. Forgive me. It's, it's a form of illness that is inherent and it's genetic. 98% of them were aborted. So in effect, we are taking a class of people who have a disability and we're in effect genociding them. Because the mother is making a choice because their doctor is informing them you have a high likelihood of this child having this disease, so we're going to kill it. Hmm? This is middle way for me as well. This is nuance. Like that, I would, I would have all kinds of nuance with these kind of situations. Whether it's okay to do that because you just don't want to. Okay, okay. I think, I think this is... This is right, the right. Well. But the, the main point that I want to cover here yeah. is that the majority of abortions today in this country and in other countries are chosen out of convenience. They're chosen out of the choice of the mother. There is no case of rape. There's no case of inter incest. There's no case of danger to the mother. No, I don't decide. The woman decides. The woman decides. Do you know if you sit down with all these people and ask about their life, what happened? Maybe some maybe some of these people were raped when they were kids. No, I already told you they weren't maybe they listen. went through all kinds of things to make them think right, if right. I get a child, yeah. I will kill myself. But listen, listen because I can't right. do it. But your argument you don't know about listen, this. your argument is ultimately because of suffering of the woman, the young woman in the woman's womb has to die. That's what you're saying. You are, you what you are saying is yeah. that no matter why it happened, and no matter what the reason is for the mother to do this, it's no, no, the, the, no, the life I, that is in here yeah. will always be worth more. That is what you think, right? Can I, the life of the innocent and the weak should prevail okay, over the strong. We can say that women are also innocent and weak in the situation we. because. She she's a fully a grown woman. Ah, this is why it goes wrong. She is, what? She is why it goes wrong. She's the one yeah. who's giving birth to a, son, to a child that she, right. was, she did not want. Men still cannot give birth. Right. It's still how the world works. Yeah. So therefore, if she's not willing to have that child, yeah. she is a person who is hurt by the situation, but you are putting the life of the child above the life of the woman. Yes, yes. 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 Because I do that consistently in everything else. I know, but because yeah. we have I'm consistent. Yep, and we should continue. Women, just like, well, it doesn't really matter that much. What, life of women? Yeah, because she doesn't really matter. You know, Do you know what the percentages of women who survived on the Titanic? It's like 75%. Do you know how many men didn't survive? About 75%. Yeah, because, you know, because, we because men gave their life up for women. Men, because we actually need women to pro prolong humanity. Right, men. right. Like, what do we need men and we prioritize children, yeah? Children are those who need protection more than anyone else. I'm a fully grown man, you're a fully grown woman. A, a child has, is completely dependent on its mother. It has yeah, nothing. Exactly. And you're arguing for its death. Well, I am arguing that as a woman, I'm arguing for rights of a mother, of a woman. To also. kill it. But not the young woman in yeah, the womb. I'm actually fighting for rights of a woman to have a life. Not the woman in the womb, though. It's not planned by you or by other politicians or by whoever else, but by herself and her own dreams and wishes And she can kill life. it. That's a lot of fluffy, she, nice talk to say you can kill a child. Yep, same here. It was here. never a great party for them. It was never like, woohoo, abortion. It was usually like, this is the last thing I can yeah. do. And I think it's because a lot of people innately know it's wrong. Because I don't know if you know, but condoms are like 85%, not 99% of, uh, you know, uh, the, you know, they don't give you the security of 100%. They give 85%. That's very little, actually, to think about it. Actually, things that are the most uh, progressive would be for a guy to have a vasectomy, and that maybe, and that would actually is 100%, 100% of no chances for unwanted pregnancy. Or choose not to have sex. Well, you know, <laughs> which is also 100%. Well, if you're arguing you on percentages. Yeah. You know, a great, and vasectomy is a choice. Probably the best way of not having children is indeed not having not, uh, not having sexual not intercourse. Not having sex and also not raping women. Yes. Which happens in the minor minority of cases. Was that? Rape is a minority case, Fine, yeah? It's still a big case, it's an important case, right? Because well, yeah, it is. But the point is, is that once, I, again, I'll come back to it. When I, when I grant that condition, I say, right, in the cases of rape, we'll, we'll allow abortion. You go, and allow abortion for everything else as well. And I'm like, no. 
Why do you think that because you've granted one, you have to grant for all? I'm saying don't. I, for example, don't want to have children. And I use contraception. Right. Suddenly, I'm going to become pregnant just because the contraception does not give me 100% of security. Yeah. Why do I have to change my whole life just because I'm Because you knew full well that it wasn't guaranteed and that you did it anyway. So what? You so made, what? You made the what? choice. Was it consensual? Was it consensual? Was it consensual? consensual? Between you and your partner, was it consensual? Yes. Congratulations, you made a choice to engage in something that leads to pregnancy. Well, you know, you can also say that driving, by driving a car, you agree to the, to the percentage of a chance that you will kill someone. You know, there's all sorts of risks that we take in life. Doesn't mean, well, you know, we're trying to protect ourselves from these risks, right? Yeah, but getting pregnant isn't the, same of ki isn't the same as killing someone by driving them, right? That, you know, yeah. we, we forgive, me, forgive me, forgive me, please. It's a wonderful conversation, I'd like to say something. Sure, go ahead. You see, uh, even if you, you think quite correct and you don't take the conversation a little bit further, when you speak about getting into a car, you're forgetting about one important thing, about destination. So you never take it further. The same is state of consciousness. If you would, if you have a state of consciousness in which you understand what the life means, or what it means to bring a child into this world, you would never, even, it would never cross your mind such a thing as abortion. Because you comprehend that this same state of consciousness, which would be a higher one, what actually life means, where it comes from, and why let's say you were guided to somebody to whom actually you would love to have a child with, and never would cross your mind that perhaps you would want to terminate it in any way. So it's all a question of your personal choice. What if I don't want to have children? If you don't want to have children, no, you should accept the risk that what you're doing could lead to a child, and you have to be prepared for that. Okay, well, that's a choice. Fine, that's yeah, that's a fine of a choice. Why are we not talking but, about having more of that? Because sure. Okay, if we do that, will you then reject abortion on demand? Well, I think I would be willing to talk about it. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not. I agree with you that very a lot of left left wing uh, activists are way overwhelming too majority. Hard. Yes, I, I agree. it's mainstream now. Just like, just like the activists on the other side are very often like just in Poland, like in Poland, they're right now uh, with Ukrainian refugees, women who are raped by Russian soldiers. They are denying abortions to 13-year-old girls. Right, again, but you're taking you're taking a exception yes, yes, and then you want to expand that to everything. And I'm saying no. Don't take the extremes. We we can agree. Yeah, we can we agree on the extremes. We already agree. No, 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 no. My, why is my position extremes? Your extremes. Yes. You say yeah. at all times, at you say mm. at all times mm. when the the fetus. Yeah. You can, you can yes. see, I don't know where you draw that line, but when when you know conception, the scientific perspective. Okay. Draw that line. Yeah. That's why you draw the line. Uh, you say there is never ever a case. You say you say rape. So you give you say rape and it's one percent. Ninety nine other percent of other cases. You are saying that the women should always have the child. And it should be it Listen, should be, let me let me explain. Nobody, there, there, yeah. you say extreme, yeah. remember your own thing. Yeah. Because I, you're no. using it as a weapon wait, wait, wait. and it's important. You mm. are you are on the counter. It's very extreme. You say ninety nine percent of the I, I, I am trying to come to a middle here. I, I'm not, I, I haven't given you my But I've already conceded ground. I've already conceded ground. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not extreme at all. I, 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 I'm, well, I, I would like if to... You, if you're defending about, abortion for, for any reason, I, I don't then yeah. Think, I, the reason why I'm not extreme is because I do not go to that idea of the higher power that this is the only... You don't need power. to. You can do this completely I'm secular. I higher power. I said higher consciousness. Okay, but... I but state of wait, own let's own stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. What, what was your question? What, is that scientific? what do you know about that consciousness? About that fetus? Exactly. And there are many atheists that don't agree with abortion. Many atheists. And here's the answer. It's a when would you agree that the, would you agree that your life, your life? I didn't ask to be born. Just a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you're not you going to kill yourself, are you? You, you like life. Somebody who's in existence. Yeah, you exist, right? When did that existence begin? Do you know? You don't know. Do you know? Do you know? I'm asking. No, I'm asking I don't know, and I don't. I don't okay. claim to okay. know. Okay. Since you don't know what exists. <laughs> but if you don't know, then how can you allow abortion? Exactly. Sorry, exactly. Hey, hey, exactly. Hey, because I don't know. That's so why. You, I, so I, you're I prepared say, to kill you someone. You just say you're doing no, something you I don't know what you're doing. No, no. But what is your concept of like when? When do you think God is there? He said exactly. He said the context of the text. Listen, listen, my friend. Listen, listen, my friend, my friend. Listen, listen, listen. Philosophically, 
yeah. 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 Yeah.